hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can write or update single holding register value of your Morbus TCP IP device from the node red dashboard okay so if you want to control your holding register values from your node red dashboard then how you can do that so that thing we are going to cover in this video so here you can see we have opened more sim software and using this software we are going to simulate our Morbus TCP device okay so if you want to simulate modbus tcp device then all you have to do is click on this connect click on this modbus tcp server and we are going to simulate our modbus tcp device on the port number 502 and that's it you can see it is simulating on the port number 502 now we want to control or update the holding register values from the node red dashboard so here you have to select the holding register okay and then after we can go to our node red flow and here we will first take the slider to uh, change the value of this holding register and then after we will take Morbus right node okay so these two things are enough to control this holding register so I'm going to connect this two node okay and I'm going to place this slider in the default group and we are going to control the holding register zero okay so that's why the label is holding register zero and also in the name we will set holding register zero and the maximum value we want to set for the holding register 0 is 200 so that's why maximum 200 and we want to send the output when we will release the slider okay so that's it uh, we can click on done and that's it for the slider now in the modbus write node we have to specify a few things where we are going to write the data on which holding register we are going to write the data okay so everything we have to specify in the modbus write node so if you double click on this modbus write node then we have to specify all those things here now the first thing is unit id so we are going to connect with the unit id 1 device so i have to specify unit id 1 i'm going to control or update only one holding register at a time so here in the function code i have to select preset single register only okay so function code 6 i have to select because we are going to control only first holding register now which number of holding register we are going to control so it's a zeroth number or it's a very first holding register so that's why we have to put the address here okay and after that server so our node red will act as a modbus tcp client and we have to provide the server details here in the node red so you can see i don't have any details right now so i can click on this pencil to connect or create one and i'm going to name it as a modbus tcp ip client in node red okay and the type is tcp because we are going to control the modbus tcp holding register okay tcp device holding register the host is 127.0.0.1 because this open mode sim software is running in my local system so that's why host is 127.0.0.1 the port is 502 as you can see it's running on the port 502 so that's why port 502 that's it you don't have to change anything you just have to click on this add button okay and we are going to control hr0 so we will provide the name control hr0 and done okay now we can deploy and we can click on the confirm deploy now we can open our dashboard using this option dashboard and we will click here okay and it will open our dashboard you can see hr0 right now the current value is 0 i can slide it through here okay now i want to set my value at 100 i can release it and you can see the value 100 is written here now if i want to change the value then i can change the value from here okay so this is how you can use node red with slider and modbus write node to control the holding register uh, value of your modbus tcp ip device the same way you can control another holding register okay so uh, we can copy this we can paste it here okay and we want to control the holding register one then i can you know rename this uh, slider okay and for holding register one we want to set the maximum value to 100 okay that's it and in the control hr0 we have to rename it as control hr1 because we are going to control the first holding or you can say the second holding register okay starting with zero it will be uh, second holding register so here in the address we have to provide one 
okay and again we are going to control only one holding resistor at a time so we have to select the function code 6 and the same uh, server connection we are going to use here i don't have to change this and that's it i can press on done i can press ctrl d to deploy my flow and that's it here you can see we have hr0 control and hr1 control if i want to control the hr1 value then i can control it from here you can see here it's a 15 if I want to control the HR0, then I can control it from here and again HR1. Okay, so this is how you can use Node Trade with slider node and Modbus write node to control the holding resistor value of your Modbus TCP IP device. So I hope this thing is clear. And if you still have any question or any concern regarding this, then you can always put your questions and concern in the comment section. Also, you can ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Now in the next video, instead of holding register control or update, we are going to control the coil status of our Modbus TCP IP device from the node grid dashboard. Okay, so let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.